after the last episode, it's safe to say it is time for us to skip and simulate to the end of the season. There's nothing left for me to do. I accomplished everything I wanted to do for the season. We traded James Harden. We won the NBA Cup. The last thing is to see if we actually make it to the NBA playoffs. I don't know if we are or if we aren't, but after the last episode, after the trade we made for Derek Lively, I feel like we have a good chance of making the postseason, for real. Especially with Kawhi Leonard on the team as well. So we have our big two. Derek Lively, Kawhi Leonard, we just got to find that missing piece, which is what we're going to find during the offseason. And I'm saying that as if we're one piece away from an NBA championship. We're not, but I want to form a big three, bro. Of course, you got to form me a big three. And right now, I only have two good players that's basically untradeable. But I'm yapping too much. We're about to get into things. What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, a.k.a. Prince Anthony, let's get things rolling, baby. It's time to sim to the end of the season. Totally forgot about this task because there's a scouting in process. Eight days left. So we're about to skip eight games into the future. Let's see what that's about. Let's see if I just accomplish the task or if anything else is going to come of it. Nope. I am going to deny that trade. Disable CPU trade offers for right now because we're basically done. Let's get this sim on the way, on the road, I was going to say and the scouts are hard at work let's see if they're able to find anyone later in the season so the task is completed time to follow up with my head scout logan hall i was gonna say logan paul but he said unfortunately not good he's still oh man yep never able to play without back pain i do not want this dude on my team yeah cross him off our list perfect there we go so ladies and gentlemen, it looks like he was going to scout someone for us to either add to the team right now, because it did say mid-season, so, or throughout the season, but looks like that's not going to happen anymore, it doesn't really matter. So I unlocked a new perk point. Let's see, I am going to go with free agents are more likely to sign, come on bro. We're about to go into free agency pretty soon. We're about to skip to the end of the season. Let me see what this dude wants. So Ty Lue wants to speak to us. Ty Lue says he wants to speak to us about practice. Yeah, we're talking about practice. I don't think the team's conditioning is going to... I think the team's conditioning is going to suffer unless we get the more practice time right now. Can you please elaborate? What are you talking about? Extra practice and it's not going to last a seven game series. You're saying this as if we're going to win a seven game series. So here are the options that we're given. Out of all these options, don't really want to use any more chat points to be honest. So I think I'm going to go with this answer. I don't know. I don't want to overwork the team. Although I should because to be honest, we're not going to really get far in the playoffs. So I mean, I might as well work them, <laughs> work them to death right now because it doesn't really matter. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, before we skip to the end of the season, let's take a look at our team contracts and how everyone is feeling. Ty Lu went down a little bit after we just spoke, of course. But look at this. The team governor, he used to be at 40 morale. Now he's at 47. Improvements. This sim is going horrible, bro. Literally more L's than W's. And we're 10 games under 500 approaching the trade deadline, which is horrible. <laughs> That is horrible, bro. That is really horrible. So let's see. We just lost to the Los Angeles Lakers. Ty Lue smiling on my smiling in my face. I don't know why. But we're about to approach the all-star break. We're almost there. Let's see how our players are feeling. I'm seeing a lot of green, which is good. Derek Lively is a 36 morale. I don't know what's up with that. Gotta get that together. But let's see. Jordan Miller is at zero. <laughs> I'm about to wave him. I'm definitely about to wave him or try to trade him. The team governor is up to a 54. So he likes the direction of the team and what I'm doing. That's all that I really need to see, bro. That's the only thing I really need to see. But Jordan Miller, definitely going to get rid of him right now at the trade deadline. Kobe Brown, more than likely, I'm going to get ready to find a deal for him as well. Derek Lively, I'm not sure why his overall is going down. Well, not his overall, but his morale. Doesn't really make much sense. He's the starting center on our team. What more do you want? Uneasy, his game performance. So team success has his morale going down. Game usage has his morale going down. A lot of it has to do with either the team success or game usage. So I don't know what that's about. I'm just interested in seeing how much he wants per year. So Amir Coffee wants to re-sign with our team. Only wants the minimum. Oh yeah, 
that's it's easy. I am going to get him on a three-year minimum deal. He has happily accepted the offer. Definitely does not hurt us. Definitely a good contract to have and a decent enough player. More than likely not keeping him. I'm going to trade him. <laughs> but Jordan Miller, let's see what trade offers we have for him. He's on a two-way contract. No offers was selected. He is not happy with us. He does not want to be on our squad no more. He's ruining the team morale. So listen, you got to go, bro. Just like that, we wave him. He is gone. He is done with the team. So let's take a look at the transaction report. What else is going on around the league? A lot of trades are happening. The Knicks traded Mitchell Robinson for Caldwell Pope and Bobby Clintman. We could have got Mitchell Robinson. Kawhi Leonard becoming an all-star is exactly what I want to see. He definitely had to become an all-star. Like, come on, bro. You're in the Western Conference, I understand. But you're the best player on our team, so it definitely had to happen. Anyways, let's simulate the regular season. I basically took off trade, so I don't have to worry about that. And also, the coaching is set to automatic, so I don't have to worry about that as well. Skipping past the contract extension deadline, that's gone too. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're simming to the end of the season. So far, I'm seeing a lot of Ws. We're catching up. We were 10 games under 500 by the time I stopped the sim the first time. So, let's see. I, I like the way that we're rolling right now. We're there. Can we win 40 games for the season? I feel like it could happen. Look at all the dubs. There we go. More dubs is coming. We had a pretty good season. We had a pretty good season. So looking at the awards, I don't expect anybody to win any awards for my team. So I really don't care. Okay, so MVP, Luka. Let's see if Kawhi made any of these all NBA teams. And I do not see Kawhi Leonard. That's crazy. No Kawhi? Now, y'all gotta be kidding me. Let's see the defensive teams. Nothing as well. That's crazy. Nobody from my team made any of the all nba teams that's insane but ladies and gentlemen we made the play-in we are the ninth seed first round we have matched up against the san antonio spurs crazy we won three games in a row to end the season but look at this victor and chris paul listen i'm just happy we had a 39 win season which is not bad and we made the playoffs technically this is not really the playoffs but technically it is because we now, we got to win the plan. We got to make it to the playoffs officially, officially. But anyways, looking at how our players did this season, very good all-around season for everyone. Kawhi Leonard, best player on our team, of course. Bones Highland right behind him with 12. Norman Powell with 12. Jake LaRavia, 11 points. Derek Lively with 9. Not a bad season for our guys. Not a bad season at all. So now I kind of know... Yeah, definitely in the offseason, I know who I'm keeping and who I'm getting rid of. Nah, bro, we gotta hop into the Simcast for real. Because there's no way we're losing to the San Antonio Spurs. So there we go, starting the Sim. Game is going back and forth, bro. Look at that. Game is going back and forth. If we lose this game to the Spurs, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright, so it looks like we're pulling away. We pulled away in the fourth quarter and we won. Ladies and gentlemen, we make it to the next round of the NBA play-in. Kawhi Leonard doing his thing. Leading, leading us to the next the next game, Derek Lively. Okay, that's not too bad. That's definitely not too bad. But Victor Wembenyama, he is not ready for the playoffs, bro. He's not ready for it. So next round, we have match up against the New Orleans Pelicans, Zion, Brandon Ingram, DeJounte Murray, and those boys. I don't know how we're going to do. We're probably going to lose this. Look at that. They're off to a fast start. We're already losing. And look at this. Nice second quarter for us. We outscored them 40 to 17. Come on, bro. We got to close this out. We got to win. They're making this game close. This is way too close. Slowing down the sim. It looks like we might pull it out. There we go. We did it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Derek Lively and Kawhi Leonard and Jake LaRavia. Look at that box score. Leading us to the NBA playoffs. We actually did it. We made it. Zion did his thing to Jonte Murray, Brandon Ingram. But ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Now, we definitely getting swept. We are facing off against the Dallas Mavericks. They won eight games in a row. The number one seed in the West. Look at this team. And Zubox is there too. Oh my goodness. So OKC, Warriors right below us. Oh, look, the Knicks. 
facing off against the Pistons in the first round. They won 10 games in a row after trading Mitchell Robinson. 10 games in a row. The best team in the East. I wish that happens in real life. That shit happened in real life. My next is, come on, man. One of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. I'm just saying. But anyways, 10 wins. 10 games in a row. They won. Crazy. But anyways, let's start simming. I'm going to do game by game. First round of playoffs matched up against the Dallas Mavericks. We're down to, oh, we won the next game. We won games three and four. We lost the next game. OKC already waiting for us in the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, we got force at game seven. We got to force at game seven. If we beat this team, Bruce Brown is injured four to six weeks. I totally forgot to trade him too before the season ended. Anyways, Let's see how we do. We're winning. We were winning to start the game. And then look at that. The Dallas Mavericks. Looks like they're pulling away, bro. Come on. We're keeping it close. Still within single digits. Right there. And we lost. Ladies and gentlemen, we could not force a game seven. But we won two games against the best team in the West. This season was a success. Can nobody tell me otherwise? Task completed. I don't know what task he's talking about. There we go. So, Luca. Finals MVP. There we go. Finals MVP. No way the Pacers were beating the Dallas Mavericks, bro. I'm just saying. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this postseason was a success. Huge success for us. Kawhi did his thing. Highland stepped up in the playoffs as well, averaging 16. Powell did his thing. Jake LaRavia did his thing. Derek Lively. Did his thing as well. Okay, I like how we played. This, in my opinion, this season, I rated it A minus. In my opinion, my humble opinion, this season was a success. Major success. I'm scared about what he wants to talk to me about. This is the first thing that popped up as soon as we exit the championship screen. He said, okay, he wanted to get into the behind the scenes stuff. Okay. He wants to get himself involved now with making a few decisions, see how they pan out. I mean, that makes sense because literally he is the star player of our team, the best player on our team, our all-star, the player that we're basically building the team around. So it, acts, it absolutely makes sense. Okay, I thought we were going to get hit with a cut scene that we had before. Like, because a lot of people saying my GM is broken and I'm going to be asked the same questions and this isn't the same question so so far so good so the option i'm gonna go with is sure i could take a few ideas from you and see if you have any tips etc etc i appreciate your willingness to help that's all i got to say bro and he said he wants to learn from me. i know bro i know i know bro you want to learn from the prince of, of course you do like of course yeah absolutely i'll be happy to share more of our long-term goals with you bro Definitely, 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 definitely. So he's going to have a lot of input on the team moving forward, going forward. I don't mind. I definitely don't mind. Bro. It's your team. Well, technically it's my team, but we'll make it we'll make it seem like it's yours. Welcome to the offseason, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally made it. Player retirements. LeBron is gone. Come on, man. CP3, Kyle Lowry, Al Horford, Conley, Eric Gordon, Batum, Love, Westbrook, the list goes on and on. Derrick Rose, Taj Gibson. A lot of good players retiring from the NBA. A lot of players that we grew up watching and enjoying. They're gone, bro. They're gone. A lot of good players retiring. It's time for the new generation in the NBA. Luke Walton um, retiring as well. So, Hall of Fame, LeBron, Westbrook, and CP3, of course. It makes sense. All of those players making it into the Hall of Fame. Jersey retirements, Westbrook. Oh, we are retiring Chris Paul's jersey. Us, the Los Angeles Clippers. I want to unretire his jersey. <laughs> but, I mean, it makes sense. LeBron is getting his jersey retired by the franchises that he played with. But us retiring Chris Paul is kind of surprising. Time for the NBA draft lottery. I don't even know if we have a first round pick. I think we have a swap pick with OKC. Don't quote me on that. But we're about to see anyway, so... The Jazz have the number one pick, the number two pick. Philly has the third pick. That's insane. Wait, what pick? Do we have a pick? So it looks as though... I'm not seeing a pick for us, unless I'm blind. Oh, the 24th pick. So we have a late first rounder. 
Definitely trading that pick. Unless Kawhi Leonard wants me to draft someone. I hope he doesn't. Last staff member we're adding to the team, Dell Peterson, assistant GM, a fellow Black King. So ladies and gentlemen, we have our new staff. I literally fired everyone. Well, not really everyone. I let go of like two people and the rest of their contract expired. And this is all of our staff now. I hired the best available, our head coach moving forward for the foreseeable future. Ty Lue, definitely not getting rid of him at all. I like the staff, I like the makeup of the team. But I'm gonna end things here, your boy is getting tired. I gotta get some rest, catch up on some Z's, cause I am exhausted, bro. But nonetheless, I'm gonna leave things here primarily because I want you guys' opinion on what I should do during free agency. Any thoughts and opinions that you guys have, leave it for me in the comment section below. Up next is the NBA Draft. Gonna be making quite a bit of trades. Max Kleber is somebody I definitely have to trade. Bruce Brown, I totally forgot to trade him, so his contract is basically expired. I'm not going to bring him back. I think he's making like 20 mil per year. Definitely not bringing him back to the team, so we basically let him walk for nothing. However, that expiring contract was dope, so we don't have to worry about having him back on the team. But yeah, the rest of the players, Jake LaRavia, we're keeping him. Derek Lively, we're keeping him. Although he is a bit upset for, I don't, I don't know why. I really don't know why. Kawhi Leonard, of course, we're keeping him. That's our star player. I don't know if I want to trade Norman Powell. High overall player, like an 80, 81 right now. We have him for the foreseeable future because we resigned him, but I don't know about that. He's old. That's the reason why I want to trade him. I, I don't know, though. I really don't know. So let me know in the comment section below. And in terms of the point guard, we're set with Highland and Davion Mitchell. I want to develop those two guys. So that's the makeup of the team right now. We're going to see what happens during the NBA draft, see what deals we could get. And also free agency is going to be lit as well. Let's see who we could get there as well. If we can't get anybody big in terms of any big names, going to have to wait till next season, bro. Next off season. But I'm going to keep financial flexibility and I'm not signing anyone to a multi-year deal. That's how I roll. Or I'll just do a team year, one year team option. That works. Anyways, click my face right there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Leave those comments for me in the comment section below. You guys know I love hearing from you. If you don't leave a comment for me, like, how, how do I know how you feel about things? Like, come on, bro. Leave me the comments. Don't be stingy. Like, literally, I'll give you a second. Literally takes a second to leave that comment, and it literally took a second to like, and it literally takes a second to subscribe to the channel. But let me stop bothering y'all. I'll see y'all in the next episode, bro. It's Prince of YouTube, signing out.